Welcome to 18th Century Cooking. I'm your host, John Townsend, and today we're doing amazing 18th century chicken wings. I don't even believe it. Thanks for joining us today as we savor the flavors and the aromas of the 18th century. The recipe is in the professed cook by Claremont. This is actually sort of an interpretation or translation of an earlier French cook, uh, a French cookery cookbook. And this one, the title, at least the English title is Chickens Without Art. I believe the French title was probably more closely uh, Chickens the Easy and Friendly Way, right? And we think of maybe chicken wings that way, although they don't call them chicken wings. Cut off the wings of four middling chickens, flatten them with the handle of a knife, marinade them with salt and pepper, chopped parsley, green shallots, mushrooms, and a little good oil. Then put them in a stew pan separately with the marinade on a good brisk fire, Turn them soon. They will require only a quarter of an hour to do so. Take the wings out. Lay them on a dish that you intend for the table. Add two spoonfuls of cullis to the sauce. Skim it well. When ready, add a good lemon squeeze and serve upon the meat. So it doesn't necessarily, you know, maybe sound like, you know, basically barbecued chicken wings like we might be expecting uh, today, but it's going to probably end up something like that. Very, very interesting recipe. Most of the recipes you'll find in English cookery cookbooks don't talk about specific parts of the chicken. They generally tend about cooking the whole entire chicken. So I thought this one was quite interesting in that they are talking specifically about chicken wings and kind of doing them in a fancy way. So um, this is probably kind of really close to the reason why and what we do with chicken wings today. We need to start with our, our marinade first. We've got uh, parsley. I've already chopped up a good bit of parsley here. We're just gonna put it in our large mixing bowl. Mushrooms, chop those up in a nice medium kind of size. We're gonna put a good bit of mushrooms in there. They make a great component of this marinade. We've got our um, green onions, or they call for green shallots in that recipe. So either one of those is gonna work fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put salt and pepper in the marinade and we'll also put them on the chicken wings. But let's go ahead and put a little salt and pepper in there. There we go. And now we've got our good oil. You can use whatever standard cooking oil you like to use. And we're just gonna pour a good bit of that in here. And now let's get it nice and mixed up so it can start marinating. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna start working on those chicken wings. Got them here. And obviously the author of this um, was worried about the chicken wing being flat enough so that when it was cooking, uh, it didn't have pieces that were sticking up like that. So we wanna make sure that our chicken wings are nice and flat. We can take our back of our knife and just make sure those are flattened out. And usually it's this small joint we can flatten out a bit. Now for a little salt and pepper on the outside of these chickens. So our chicken wings are now buried in this nice marinade and we're gonna set this aside, maybe an hour, two hours, three hours, uh, so that all those flavors can mix together nicely. Then we can start to cook them.
Well, here they are. They're amazing. They look great. Uh, you know, while cooking them, they, they uh, scented the kitchen the perfect way. They just smell wonderful. And so at the end of this process, we took the chicken wings out. We left the, you know, all that marinade in the pan. We added some broth to that and sort of made the gravy, just like the, the direction said. And uh, that came back out and went on top. So it, uh, it, it looks like it's going to be great. I can't wait to try these guys out. We're going to go ahead and just pick up one of these. Whoa! The flavors are tremendous. That lemon comes in, it does, right up on top. Gives you that wonderful sort of acidic, spicy flavor that uh, really uh, adds a tremendous quantity to this. Now, now the real question is, what's the rest of this going to be like? Well, not just the chicken wings themselves, but the sauce that came on top. Mm. Those mushrooms are tremendous. Everything cooked down into this just really, really tasty um, sauce. The, all that wonderful, you know, salt and pepper in there. And then all the, uh, all the spices or all the, all the wonderful flavor that comes in with the onion and the mushroom. This is just one of those, you've got to try it because it is such a wonderful way to cook a, a, a very inexpensive meat cut, chicken wings, uh, but yet, it's, um, boy, it's like 10 stars. This is really good. Another thing to remember about this recipe is that it's so very, very simple. I mean, it has um, actually kind of few ingredients, very simple ingredients. The prep time is very short. If you already have chicken wings to work with, I mean, you just basically mix this up and set it aside. So it only has five minutes of prep time and then, hey, 15, 20 minutes of cooking and it's done. So it is a very fast and very good recipe. If you're interested in another 18th century chicken recipe that you will love, check out the famous fried chicken recipe, fried chicken in the 18th century.